looking around to see who's watching. There's always someone. But the thing is, you're doing this so you want to be watched, you want to be seen, you want to be heard. And at the same time, you have the deepest, darkest thoughts. I have a country an ex holding back my children. You know, Poland, Gorzo Volkopolsky, they've, they've dug a grave. And my headstone's already put on that grave. So though she's making it difficult legally, the point seen of false allegations, they don't look at anything in Poland. They just leave you in a state of shock. And if you go to Poland, you get that grave to face. You've not got your children to see. So you can't find peace wherever you are. It doesn't matter about anything, money, place you're staying, relationships. It means nothing when they're taking your children. And the pain being inflicted by this legal hellhole, allowing children to be taken away from loving parents and loving parents in the deepest, darkest depressions. For a short time, pretending life is bearable. And I know a poor mother in this position right now. A year and a half, her son's been torn away from her. She gets a couple hours a week. Sickening. I was offered even less time. They take away your motivation to feel any inspiration for life in any way. There's nowhere to turn. There's so many people fighting back for this parental alienation, it's what disastrous abuse of men use, and it's not. It's what wicked parents use. And at the moment those charities funded to hit those wicked parents are female charities. So some mothers are just left cannon fodder. It means that the partners get more money than them. Be aware. Take care.